Welcome once again friend. In previous video we learned the concept of perimeter, what is perimeter and how to find out the perimeter of different different objects. Sometimes we take the example of some regular figures also and sometimes we take the examples of some irregular figures. But overall what we had understand that perimeter is nothing more than the sum of the length, sum of the lengths of boundaries. Right? everywhere we learn this just add the boundaries right here also we, we're gonna do the same thing we'll be adding this all boundaries one by one and that will give us the perimeter of this figure whatever it is right so let's find out the perimeter of this figure so the perimeter of this figure will be now the sum of the all sides so this is my first side that is two centimeter and then this is my second side which is of one centimeter and this is my third side this is a 5 centimeter and my fourth side this is a 4 centimeter okay so sum of this all now 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 5 8 and 8 plus 4 that is 12 so 12 centimeter is the perimeter of this figure right now uh, let's find out the perimeter of this uh, yeah this is a regular pentagon right one two three four five five sides and it's a regular pentagon so whatever it is it's either regular pair of uh, a pentagon or it's a hexagon or heptagon or octagon whatever it is we don't care we know only thing that to find out the perimeter of any object we just have to add the all boundaries the length of the all boundaries right so here also the perimeter will be will be just adding this uh, adding this all right this all sides one by one let's add one by one this all sides will be getting the perimeter of uh, this figure so first one this four second one is also four third one is also four fi uh, and fourth one is also four centimeter and fifth one is also four centimeter so four plus four eight plus four twelve plus four sixteen plus four twenty so twenty centimeter is the perimeter of this pentagon right there is another formula also to find out the perimeter of this pentagon like this um, right here perimeter see uh, just suppose these all side are of uh, length like uh, a okay all the sides are a a length length of the all side is a so a is how many times repeated uh, one time two time three time four time five time so let me add this all a plus a plus a plus a plus a no 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 yeah yeah three five five times so one a this is here another a this is here another a this is here another a this is here and another a this is here so here a represents the side of this pentagon so all together this is 5a right this is the perimeter of a regular pentagon this is only for the regular pentagon not for the all kinds of pentagon right so here you can directly find a run therefore you'll get 5 times 4 that is 20 centimeter is the perimeter of this pentagon right now here is a very nice swastik mark this is called swastik mark now how to find out the perimeter of this yeah we can easily find out but it, it will be really crazy to find out this all we have to add a lot of things right so no problem we know that the perimeter of any figure is just the sum of the boundaries right so here let's uh, start from here so we'll be adding this all okay first let me add this is four and this is one and this is three okay don't get bored it's like a, a little bit boring also and this is again two right and this is three and this is four and this part one and this part three and this part two and this part again three and this part again four this part again one this part again three and again um, uh, there is no sufficient space so that's why I'm writing down stair uh, well up to three we were and then this part two we finished this part also now this three and then this four 
and then this is 1 and this is 3 and this is 2 I'm not writing centimeters anywhere because if I'll write centimeters it will be so lengthy right but uh, you should write an exam or very well in the papers right so I'm just trying to make you understood and this is finally 3 so I added all the sides of this uh, uh, this uh, swastik sign or uh, mark and that will give me the perimeter of this okay so let me now add this all uh, by the way this this was a very lengthy process but uh, you have a very shortcut also if you just add this part once this once one part add the sum of this all part right uh, sum of this all length right this uh, just boundaries of this add and then multiply by the 4 because the same configuration is here also and the same configuration structure is here also and here also once you will find out the one part this part you can easily multiply by the 4 and you'll get the answer right but here I'm doing by the lengthy process but it's uh, easy process okay though it's lengthy you can easily understand this so now 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 3 13 right 13 plus 4 17 and then 18 18 plus 3 21 21 and 2 23 23 and 3 uh, 26 and then 4 30 31 34 36 right 39 30 43 44 44 47 48 49 and then 3 49 and 3 that is 53 so altogether the sum is 53 centimeters so the perimeter of this swastik sign is 53 centimeter so here also it's the same thing what we do wha what we did here we just added all the boundaries and that's our s that's our perimeter right and the same thing this is another silly question for you I think this is now really silly yeah we'll be adding this all again let's add this part that is a B uh, and then this part that is BC and then this part that is CD right and then this part is ED and this part that is FE and the last part that is FA right sum of the all sides so once again uh, let me write this all this is 100 centimeter 100 meter then 120 meter then this is 90 and then 45 right and then 60 and then 80 okay so now let's add this all and that will be our perimeter so 100 and 120 that is 220 and 220 and this 9 right so this will be three, 310 310 up to here we are 310 and then let's add 45 so it will be 355 and uh, 355 plus this 60 right 355 and then 60 and then this 80 so this all will be now I'm adding this actually 5 right and then uh, and then this 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 8 19 carry over 1 and then 4 so 495 495 meter is the perimeter of this uh, figure whatever it is right so the perimeter is 495 centimeter 495 centimeter I think now you understand how to find out the perimeter of any figure whether it's regular figure or irregular figure right so in the next video we'll be doing some word problem of the perimeter and then we'll be starting learning area friends if you like my videos please subscribe me I'll be really happy uh, uh, and I'll get some inspiration that I'll make some more videos and please comment if you like this and if, if there is some weakness that I can improve myself and I can give you some better quality bye bye